Hi friends, in this video, I am continuing next part in the Mike 11 NAM Rainfall Runoff Simulation Model. After tabulating the evaporation data, save the data and save the file. Now, next, uh, next step is to the calculate the specimen parameter which affect the hydrological modeling. So, I will show the spreadsheet calculation of that. So if we if we look at here, these are the rain gauge stations, and these are its uh, geo coordinates, and this one is the season gauge weight, which represent the influence of different rain gauge station on the sub watershed. So these are uh, derived from ArcGIS. and other parameters that is uh, the, the parameters in the initial condition and the groundwater recharge all are computed here you can see this calculation for LMAX and others and for water content in the surface storage that is nothing but sum of the surface depression storage and the canopy storage so you can refer this chart and to find the weighted surface depression and the weighted canopy storage so you can refer this table for the canopy storage and you can go through this journal this so canopy storage is nothing but the operation from the from the leaves and the plants and surface depression storage is nothing but the losses so the uh, the rain uh, rain uh, rainfall which doesn't contribute overland flow it just accumulate on the surface depression on the ground you can see here so groundwater recharge that is tg so uh, the groundwater recharge that is threshold groundwater recharge is nothing but the ratio of the groundwater recharge to the normal rainfall in that region so you can uh, you can uh, uh, apply this equation by krishna rao of our karnataka region so you get this uh, tg that is uh, threshold groundwater recharge and for base flow computation you can refer this equation barn to find the base flow here and specific yield so for west uh, the reverse in the western guards you can take specific yield as value as 0.15 so now move to mic model here file new file mic 11 rr parameters ok name the catchment name the catchment and catchment area as I need catchment area okay allocate the time series file so for your operation For observed discharge, so 
for weighted runoff sorry weighted rainfall assign the rain gauge station and its weight So here are the weights, the cheese in weights, as and the cheese in weights. Assign the assign the calculated values here. It's eleven point four. See thirty five point seven eight four. And check so it is point two relative water content in the surface storage. You can check this. Save this and check the values. Okay.
Okay, save this. After that, create a simulation file. input rr parameter file that is a info on a parameter which we have already computed it simulation number of steps that is uh, we are uh, we are computing the daily run of uh, rainfall simulation so it is daily so time step is one day okay days so run your so run the model So we can check here. So finally, we simulated the rainfall runoff for the Ventapura tributary sub watershed. So you can check here these are the observed rainfall, and this one is the simulated rainfall was uh, 51114. This one is potential evapotranspiration and this one is actually evapotranspiration it is groundwater recharge and it is overland flow and base flows so if you if you want to plot graph so this one is the result file open that Yes. So we have this one is the correlation. So it is. 0.763 which is quite good this one is the this one is the observed the red dots and the black lines which indicate simulated runoff so thank you